How's it going guys, Jordan here from Vizcom and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I was able to generate this 3D model uh, within Vizcom straight from a 2D rendering. So if I turn this off real quick, you can see it came from a design like this and we're able to get a really high quality mesh from that design. So let's hop right into it. So the first thing is uh, I'm going to just go to the homepage. This is kind of the first thing you guys are going to see when you log in, uh, then just create a new file. And then we're going to click starting in the workbench um, and in the workbench, you can drag and drop files. So I'm just going to go back to this file because I already dropped some files in. So for example, if you were to upload these two, so what you can do is actually on every image within the workbench, you can double click inside of it to then go to what we call the studio. So once you're inside the studio, you can see on the right hand side here, we have a bunch of different tools that, you know, can help us do different things with our design here. So the first thing is we're going to click on the make 3D because that's what we want to do. We want to create 3D. And if you hover over any of these, you can then see what they're actually meant to do for you. So this one's really good at rendering just pure line drawings. Um, modify is good at like editing and change things, but we're super focused on make 3D. So we're going to click make 3D. Um, then over here in quality, you can see it says max. Now, if you're not on the pro tier and you're just using the free program, you can still use standard and I believe detailed chart, but the other, I don't think so, but, uh, the other ones you're going to have to pay for. So you'll be like on the pro tier. So, um, or if you're working at your company, they, they probably already have this for you. So just click max. Um, and then once you click, choose the quality of max, just click generate. And this can take anywhere from one to three minutes. So um, I'm gonna let this just go through and let it do it, let it do its thing. And then we're gonna come back and check it out. See, another thing we're probably gonna do in the meantime, just so we have a comparison of how these all look like with each other, I'm gonna actually generate detailed smooth and then detailed sharp as well. And I'll also do the standard one so the free, free users can understand what it looks like, what they would get if they were to try this as well. So we have max, smooth, sharp, and standard. And we're just gonna compare the 3D models once they're all done. And you guys can see the different fidelities you can get um, all from this one tab here. Alrighty guys, so just pre-warning the max 3D, that one took about four minutes. So, you know, sometimes it can be, it can be under heavy loads and it might take a second, but here you can see we got our 3D model. And the thing you wanna realize is, so you can see it, it looks kind of dark. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually turn off the textures so we can just get that mesh. And you can see right here, it's like, wow, the, the quality is actually <laughs> really accurate to the design, which is kind of wild. So in up here, you can change the field of view. So the focal length. Uh, so I'm gonna change it more to what I saw and what I had in my rendering here. And then, wow, it's, it's so cool, guys, what we're able to get here. So this is on the max quality. And now I'm gonna try the other ones. You can see here, we have these 3D models now as layers. And we're going to then turn this one off, turn this on. And this is actually the Smooth V2. So this one's not too bad, but if we were to just, you know, bring this up really quick to the uh, max version, you can see some of those fascia qualities maybe just didn't come through as clear. It's almost like it's like in a lower uh, typo, which who knows, maybe that's what you want. Um, so now we're gonna compare it to the Sharp V2. Same thing, come up here, turn off the textures. And you can see, yeah, likewise, it got, it's a little bit more blocky, but we're still able to get a rough proportional model of what we're trying to go for here. Um, so I'm gonna try now the standard. So this is the one that all free users have access to, and it's still not bad. You know, you're, it's a little bit lower topology, way more kind of like doughy, I guess you could say, but you're still able to kind of get a rough 3D variation of kind of what it is you're going for. So I'm gonna pull in one more object here. Um, so let's actually now try generating just really quick, maybe with like a shoe. Like let's try that for example. So if we go into same thing, I'm just gonna come over here, click max, uh, and then generate this and show you guys what that looks like for a shoe. Okay, awesome. And there we go. You can see we have the 3D model of the shoe and I just can't, I keep laughing because I'm just like, wow, it's, it's amazing the actual representation and accuracy of this. Uh, knowing what it normally would have taken to, to uh, create something like this. Um, so I'm gonna change the field of view and yeah, super nice guys. So here's an example of what that would look like with a shoe. You can see we got some really good quality details here as far as like on the side and the rivets and things like that. So make sure you have the layer selected here 
and then make sure you have the move tool on and then you should be able to pan around the shoe and that's going to wrap it up here guys so thank you once again for watching this video on how to turn your designs in 3d using viscom uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe um and we will see you guys in the next tutorial maybe we'll go even deeper on some unique techniques you can use to get make sure you get the really best quality 3d models so that's pretty much it guys and i'll see you in the next video